real quick question everybody is wondering is how squishy is that Metroid Amiibo? <laughs> What's going on guys? Today we got an awesome unboxing of all things Metroid. We got Metroid Samus Return Special Edition, uh, the Samus Edition three, new 3DS XL, and of course, two Amiibos. So for anybody that's been following the channel long enough, you should know that Metroid is my favorite series. Um, there's my giant Metroid collection back there. It's not as big as I'd like. I'd like to get the Trilogy collection. I'd like to get a box for the original Metroid. <clears throat> I'd like to get the box for that. And I would like to get Fusion and Zero Mission, which I did have brand new when I was younger, but sold them, much like most of us did when we were younger with games. But the hardest part of being a Metroid fan is which thing do I really want to unbox the most. So, for any of you that don't know, that just think this is a new Metroid, this is actually a remake of the second one. Now, if you try to play this game on the G uh, original Game Boy, it's um, kind of difficult and unfun to play, in my humble opinion. It's green and black, or whatever you want to call the dot matrix screen. To me, it's green and black. Some people say it's different colors, but whatever. Um, so, this is a remake of that one, which, uh, if you've been in the... You know, gaming community, you would know that there was a fan-made version of this in 16-bit uh, graphics. Or actually, it was using the Metroid Fusion engine, so it was 32-bit uh, graphics, actually. Um, which I actually still have and downloaded and beat about halfway through. Um, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited to play this, I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of my most uh, anticipated games of the year. And I'm sure most of you who came here for the unboxing are just like, shut up already and unbox all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. For whatever reason, this doesn't come in any shrink wrap, which I find kind of weird. But it is uh, a nice packaging, and if you've also been following the channel for a long time, you know that I love holographic stuff, so this just makes it all the more better for me. A nice holographic front cover. There's the rear, which is also shiny here. And you got the sides, the other side, there's the top, and the boring bottom. But it does have a Samus logo on the bottom. Alright, so let's go ahead and crack this open. Now, uh, somewhere in the screen, I'll probably put it right here, uh, Europe got an amazing special edition. I'm very jealous of that. Uh, I'm kind of tired of Nintendo always giving Europe these amazing special editions and never giving us the things that we want over here. But... Nonetheless, I'm still pretty pretty content with this uh, edition for what it's worth. Um, so the front here on the soundtrack, and you best believe I'm going to open this and ride along in my car listening to some some sweet Metroid tunes. Uh, personal favorites of mine are Kraid's, I think it's called Kraid's Lair, and then obviously some of the Ridley songs are really awesome. Pretty much any of the music from Metroid series is just amazing. So you got the front cover there. You got the rear, which is badass. I kind of just want to like set this up and have that. I'd like to get this blown up into a poster. That'd be sweet. And I believe the morph ball is. Uh, it's not the morph ball, but it is the Samus logo. Um, let's see if there's anything under it. Uh, uh, broken. <laughs> oh, sweet. That looks badass too. I wouldn't mind getting that blown up into a poster as well. That'd be sweet. Uh, so there's the CD. And here's all these songs that you get. Sorry for the glare on there. That should be better down there. Uh, so there are 25 songs. You got some Fusion songs, some Metroid Prime songs, some Metroid Trilogy songs, Metroid 3, Other M. And yeah, so these, these are basically just a lot of... I know there's some Super Metroid in there too. So this is a nice mixture. And then there's some original Metroid at the bottom. So it's a nice mixture of everything. So that's really nice. Um, now... Here's the back of this. So this is also kind of metallic-y. And there's the front of that. So this is sealed still. But not for long, because I'll be playing this all weekend until I beat it. <laughs> um, I don't know if there was a strategy guide for this, but I kind of might want to try to find out if there was, because Metroids are one game that I do like to get strategy guides for. So, of course, no manual in there. And there is the cart. And just for comparison... They don't look anything alike, which is cool that they changed it, but I kind of wish they had like modernized it with this logo on it, but whatever. 
Um, <clears throat> I know that inside here is this, which is what the original Game Boy box looked like. So there's the crappier looking graphics, uh, and it, you know, and just that's just my opinion. I, I I don't think the game held up very well, mechanic wise it did, but graphically it did not hold up very well over the years. All right, so that knocks out the game portion, and then we'll move on to this bad boy here. But before we do that, I wanted to run through something with you guys. Um, <laughs> many people that have 3DSs have massive collections of 3DS's so to start I have the day one ambassador Cosmo black one which uh, I got this day one um, <laughs> that was way back in February ish no it was maybe March or April of 2011 so this bad boy's still going and they're still pumping out great games for it and uh, the 3DS is personally probably my favorite handheld now not just because it's the current gen handheld but it just has such an amazing library. I, I think it's probably one of the better libraries to exist out of all of gaming. It just has a, a wide variety of genre of games, and it's truly amazing. And if you don't own a 3DS, I do really recommend picking one up now that they're cheaper. Um, so that, day one. And then I picked up the 3DS XL Red, day one, as well. I picked this up with, uh, what was it, New Super Mario Bros. 2, the coin one. So that was pretty fun to grab that. Then, I ended up picking up the Majora's Mask uh, new 3DS XL day one when this came out. So this was, they had the black, the maroon, this one, and then the Monster Hunter 3, I think it was, or maybe 4. Uh, obviously, I picked the Majora's Mask one. This is still in mint condition in here. Uh, I played it for about a year until I ended up picking up the Pokemon new 3DS, which is also the, my current 3DS that I'm still using. Um, all, th all four of those are great, but this thing, I cannot wait to open this and use this. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Let's get this, let's get this cranking away. So there's the front of it. There's the rear of it. Then you got the top, which is the Nintendo logo. Uh, got some boring stuff there, some boring stuff there, and some boring stuff there. So let's crack this bad boy open. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the quality of my um, box that I got here. It's in really good condition. Uh, I was kind of worried about um, Best Buy shipping me, or no, GameStop actually, shipping me a ruined box like they often do. But this one's actually in pretty damn good shape. All right, so let's get that out of the way. And unfortunately, these still don't come with chargers after all this time. But rest assured... Nintendo did not forget to put the AR cards in there that nobody uses. The cost of that and putting this manual digitally could be used to give us an AC adapter with each one of these systems. So there's really no point in owning this. I own five sets of these AR cards now. Four of them are still sealed. <laughs> Alright, so now down to the meat and potatoes. That's literally all that was in here. Uh, should I open it up that way? Nah, you guys, you gotta wait. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I haven't held, held an XL version in a while because I've been playing on the, uh, the slim new 3DS for a while. So there's the back. It's really glossy. And then you got the Samus logo and some nice effects there. And the front. That thing is beautiful. You you really can't um, describe this red until you see it in person. Um, this is like a nice like amber, orangish red. Uh, I imagine this is what Samus's armor would look like if she was real. <laughs> uh, the one thing that I am kind of disappointed with, uh, I do like the blackness of that, though. That does look pretty sharp. Um, it's kind of nice that it's black on the inside, but I kind of don't like the black. I kind of wish they had gone with you know, this, you know, that theme of the, you know, the patterns inside the, the system. Or there's no green on here, like all the green lights that she has all over her system and the visor and stuff. I think, you know, some green in here would have looked really sharp or, you know, having this green or even having all the buttons green 
and even the circle pads and stuff would have looked really sharp to me in my opinion or even just like these little rubber pieces you know they, there's a lot or even just the stylus could have been green they, they could have done a little bit more with the system other than just the custom paint job but nevertheless um, this will be the final 3ds i buy unless they make another metroid one which i highly doubt they will so let's put this aside for a sec and now i have to go through the daunting process of transferring all the data over from my new 3DS to the new 3DS XL, which is kind of annoying, but it'll be worth it because that'll be my final 3DS. Now, the reason I brought up the damaged box earlier was because, again, if most of you have been following me and been subscribed for a while, know that I'm going for a complete Amiibo set, and I'm like 10 to 15 away from the complete set, and it's just out of more laziness that I haven't completed it than anything because the ones that I need aren't tremendously rare. Amiibos really aren't rare anymore and it's kind of awesome that they're not anymore. But uh, of course GameStop shipped this, or no, Best Buy shipped this. I got the game and this from Best Buy and the th uh, 3DS from GameStop. Um, but yeah, so Best Buy shipped this and they kind of ruined it. I keep all the backings because one day I would like to hang up all the backings and get like some nice shelves for these. Um, because as a kid, I always remember playing Smash Bros. Melee, and you unlocked all the trophies and stuff, and that's basically what Amiibos are. They're little trophies of all the Nintendo characters. Um, so, I'm, I'm digging these two. These are probably going to be my two favorite Amiibos. Um, the other two, uh, Samus and Zero Suit Samus Amiibos, are also really awesome. But, there's the front. Let me get the rear here. So, these unlock a reserve tank. Um, this basically helps you with the map and then this unlocks some custom artwork and then also one of them unlocks a fusion suit but it kind of looks like the fusion suit but it kind of doesn't uh, hopefully that will come up on the screen and there's the top one unfortunately that light is just glaring right into the camera <laughs> alright so let's go ahead and open these up and get to that question if, if this thing really is as squishy as it was advertised because they actually did advertise that it was squishy. <laughs> so if it's not, I'm going to be kind of pissed off. Alright, so that's all set. Now this is the trickiest part. Cutting the bottom without messing it up. that off. Alright, so it didn't get terribly damaged, but it does have a nice little crease right there, which kind of sucks. But, whatever. That's going to be a really sweet once I actually can hang these up somewhere. There goes the Metroid. Alright. Oh man, these, got, these have blue bases on them. That looks cool. And that has the, uh, the Samus logo under there. So let's give that a nice twirl. This one is super detailed. I'm loving this one. Like, I kind of want to just, like, glue this to my dashboard in my car. <laughs> this one looks fantastic. Um, even the Canon looks great. So what I was talking about with the 3DS, I think they could have added some of these green accents into the 3DS and incorporated them somewhere in the buttons, in the hinge. The whole inside could have been green, but... Whatever. Uh, overall, I'm still happy about that 3DS. Now, this one. This thing is sweet. Uh, so you got the broken tube, and then there's basically like a rock and some wires down there. And obviously the Metroid itself. But the question you're still wondering, how squishy is it, Alex? Well, you're still going to have to wait to find out. I forgot to mention during this unboxing portion, uh, I really hope these are IPS screens instead of TN screens so that the 3D actually can work with this 3DS. I actually am one of those oddballs who actually uses the 3D with the 3DS. Most people don't. I think it's kind of an integral part of enjoying the full experience of these games. Uh, Nintendo has started to not include 3D in some games. There are a few that don't actually include it, which is could be a capacity reason on the cartridge or just because they simply don't feel like adding it into the game. Who knows? I don't know development time and how that works to add that to a game, but um, let's find out how squishy this thing is. 
All right, so thanks for tuning in to the unboxing, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new, if you randomly clicked on it to watch an unboxing, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment down below if you're picking this up, if you wanted to pick it up and couldn't find it due to Nintendo not making enough copies, as they often do. But um, let's find out how squishy this thing is. It's kind of nice. It was as advertised. All right, well, me and Samus are going to go kill some Metroids. Pew, 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 pew. Peace out for now, guys. Till next time. Come here, you mother. <laughs>